everybody. <clears throat> My name is Michadini. Today I want to talk about um, how gold, silver, palladium, platinum, sugar, and gas prices are rising. Everyone knows about how gas prices are rising, and everyone's basically feeling that at the pump um, and feeling it in their pockets as well. But people don't know about sugar, that sugar is rising, the price of sugar is rising. Um, here in America, companies tend to try to keep the price low on their foods because uh, the price of sugar is so expensive and they know that people won't buy stuff that have sugar being that it's not really that good for you anyway um, people will try to avoid it in anyhow and that's what they don't want for America really don't have the money to, to try to um, spread resources among each other and try to have uh, Americans living any longer than what they're already living as um, that's not that's not going to be very economical for them so they're trying to keep prices low but it's only for so long until they find a way to manipulate or deceive us in a way where they're going to try to take money out of something um, or have another hidden tax on us or something like that or they're going to rise the prices of the food in general um, so people keep a keep an eye on that also keep an eye on silver and gold uh, silver for one um, people look at silver people, a lot of people probably throw it away or go sell it for a couple dollars um, they feel like it's worthless it's not as it's not as uh, it's not as uh, worth it don't worth as much as gold in reality silver is actually worth more because it's more valuable. If something's valuable, it's going to have a, a, a price tag that's priceless. All right? no, there's no money that can buy it. Silver is actually priceless because it's used in a lot of technical fields. It's used in a medical field. And you know, it's used for a lot of, of technological advancements within our society. And if people don't understand that and don't know what I'm talking about, just do your homework. Don't take my word for it. Always do your homework on things I'm telling you about understand what I'm saying because <clears throat> if you really study what silver is used for and what gold is used for I mean really and there's only so much silver and gold in the world and so many diamonds in the world it's a reason why it's worth more than our dollar it's a reason why it's worth more than a lot of the world's currency today and it's still rising <clears throat> um, and then trying to keep prices low or at a reasonable price but eventually they're going to have to start rising, raising the prices. And that's something that I want to let you guys know about. I think it's something that's very important to touch on because the fact that the world's elite in our government, the United Nations Council of Foreign Relations, Trilateral Commission, <coughs> many secret uh, societies, they want to divide in order to divide the country in order to conquer. And in order to conquer, they must divide. So they're going to cause all these problems, you know, and they're going to try to find a way of solving it or think or have you believe that they're solving the problem. But they're not really solving the problem. Here it is. If you go to my website, www.michadini.com, if you go to my website, I have on my website, <clears throat> if you go to um, news, on the left hand side of my website under products there's news click that under there you'll see about uh, the Rothschild family and, I, and a video of it and in there they talk about how they own basically gold they own uh, a lot of nations currency um, they're basically the banking cartel the head of it basically and are one of the heads one of the many heads of the banking cartel federal reserve many other reserves as well around the world <clears throat> and what the Rothschilds do is they manipulate the prices of things here it is gold silver has always been money everything else been currency so it'd be better if you actually boss to pay you in gold and silver and ounces of gold and silver or platinum palladium or whatnot but in reality they want you to take something that's worthless like paper um, and it's backed by a law that can change silver, gold, platinum, palladium, they can't change. It's always going to be worth something no matter where you go. 
and the Rothschilds got enough gold, enough silver, enough platinum to manipulate the prices. They're playing a game, and it's exactly what they're doing. Um, for if you have control over people's currency and you have control over true money, which is gold, platinum, palladium, silver, then you'll have control over everything else. Okay? And it's it's really just that simple. And I really feel like it needed to be addressed and people need to know the history and understand exactly what's going on. This is all set up to be, in a way, uh, our downfall in order for them to unite us in this one world government that, they, that they're looking for, this uh, new world order that they talk about. Henry Kissinger t- talks about it. George Bush talks about it. <clears throat> I think Obama hinted on it before. And... Um, uh, a lot of other advisors have talked about it that were uh, advisors of presidents in the past have talked about the new world order and definitely it's being set and it's, it's something that we're looking upon and eventually um, in a couple months or years it's going to be uh, they're going to have a, a airtight system and a lockdown on our society and many other societies as well to unite us all under one global economic uh, process. Go to www.michadine.com. Support the cause. Thank you.